It is I, the King of Spicy, on my never-ending quest to devour and conquer the spiciest foods in all the world. I have been in search for the greatest buffalo sauce to consume in my quest of heat. And sadly, I've yet to find one worthy. So I took matters into my own hands and searched the vast internet for a recipe worthy of heat and taste. And I believe I have found one on chillymadness.com. That's right. The only re recipe worthy would be from Chili Madness. The name is fitting. We are mad about chilies in the realm of spicy. I jotted down the recipe in the royal cookbook. But first, we must prepare to cook with the king. That's right. I need to have the royal garments for cooking. The royal king of spicy apron. And the crown made for me by my son, the king of root bear. That's right, he is the king of root bear. First, we take a stick of butter. Put it in a pot to melt. Now, as that is melting, Let's look what is next. Half a cup Louisiana style hot sauce. I'm going to be using one fourth cup of Texas Pete. But I, you are saying to yourself, a king of spicy, it calls for half a cup. Fear not, my friends. One fourth cup. The next sauce Tropical Pepper Coats. Scorpion Pepper. Deadly Pepper Hot Sauce. You may remember that sauce from a previous video. Are we at the halfway part? Not quite. Next. Melinda's ghost pepper hot sauce. Worthy of the buffalo sauce of the King of Spicy. We are almost there, folks. My royal chili heads, we are almost there. Next. Mad Dog 357. 357,000. Scoville. For the King of Spicy. Six drops. One, two, three. Four, five, six, for the King of Spicy. The butter is about halfway melted. Almost there. I'm going to fill the remaining with the Texas Peak.
Just a smidge. The King of Spicy has changed his mind. We're going with the ghost pepper. Dull. Fill. The remaining mount. We are there. One fourth cup. And one fourth cup. Equal. Half a cup. For those of you studying math. Nesting, next ingredients. Two tablespoons apple cider vinegar. Or white vinegar. What have you. I'm going to be using Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. Two tablespoons. One. Two. The next ingredients for the buffalo sauce of spicy. One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon. Next ingredient. One teaspoon Tabasco sauce. So, the King of Spicy does not have Tabasco sauce in the Castle of Spicy. So I am going to be using Cottage Lane's Hissy Fit hot sauce made with aged cayenne peppers. The butter is about three-fourths of the way melted. Next ingredient. One teaspoon paprika. One teaspoon. Next ingredient to the buffalo sauce of Swayze. One half teaspoon. Granulated garlic. Thank you for coming and cooking with the king in the realm of spicy. One half teaspoon. 
granulated garlic. Next ingredient. Salt and black pepper to taste. Let's count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some of you ask, why six, King of Spicy? For it is my favorite number. It is the number of man. The sixth day, man was created from the dust and breathed life through God himself. Next, crushed red pepper flakes. A pinch. I do not have crushed red pepper flakes. I have flat iron pepper curls. I can't feel my face. Crushed pepper. In this pepper flake, there's the Carolina Reaper, the Magola Scorpion, the Ghost Pepper, and the Habanero Pepper. A pinch. A pinch. The butter starting to simmer, so I'm turning that off. See, behold, all the ingredients. I will whisk together. Mmm, the heat is on. Definitely smell the mad dog in there. Overpowers the senses. Has its own smell. Its own fear. Now, next, removing the butter so it does not burn. Instructions, melt the butter in a small pot over low heat. Check. Add the remaining ingredients and then whisk them together until smooth. Then, you add the spicy into the butter. Whisking while pouring. Make sure to get all your ingredients into your pot when you're cooking. We do what? No, and you eat it left behind. Behold. Delicious. Buffalo sauce of spicy. I'll post a link to the hot sauce on my channel. Now, this needs to cool to be transferred to an airtight container. We set it on the stove to cool. All right, the sauce has cooled. Now it is to transfer into the airtight container. We got my funnel. We got my buffalo sauce. Now to pour. Slow and steady. Just to ensure not to spill any of the royal heat. Airtight. <clears throat> Next, for the chicken wings, the Cluckbird wings. I am just using generic buffalo style wings. And we'll add our own sauce. Now, 
We'll eat these cook in the air fryer, and then we will declare it spicy. All right. The king of spices, chicken wings, have fully cooked. Again, I am doing six. The number of man. My buffalo sauce has chilled. Look at that bad boy. All them chunks. Very nice. Very nice. Let's declare it spicy. We get all over the royal chicken wings. I'm only doing six. Smother the bad boys in there. Now, let's declare it spicy. Mm. Very good. I believe I have outdone myself in the realm of spicy of cooking. Very proud of the flavor. Great heat. I must say, there is not one flavor that overpowers the others. The recipe blended things smoothly. Again, I have put my own finesse on my recipe, but the recipe, the original recipe, is on peppermadness.com. Mm. A good sauce. Putting more. There's good heat. Great flavor. Definitely. Definitely recommend making your own. Bubble sauce. To add your own level of heat. Declare yourself spicy. Mm. Now I use my own ingredients. Always, when you're cooking with spice, try to outdo yourself and make it your own by adding your own twists. You can always add more heat or less heat, depending on your level of tolerance in the realm of spicy. For I, the king of spicy, I'm always looking for a deeper and higher levels of heat. Can't get enough. It is truly delicious. Really delicious.
So, if you enjoy what you see, and hopefully I'll have more Cooking with the King videos, but hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And always remember, the clarence spicy.